Hi everyone, it's Polly from Polly's Priest coming at you today with a thrift store haul. And I think we did pretty good. So let's just jump right in. This is from, of course, my favorite little thrift store. So they had a complete step-by-step -step diabetic cookbook. And since I'm type 2, I figured, hey, what could it hurt, right? Maybe it'll help get my sugar numbers down even further. We can try. And then I got this for the hubs. He usually doesn't like coffee cups. He prefers steins. That's what he collects. But this just, I don't know, for some reason it jumped out at me, and I thought, well, maybe he'd like this. And I'm going to try to give you a good, good, a good um, look at the cup. Yeah, I know it's more Christmassy, but when you see it, you got to get it. And this one on the bottom is stamped Durban and Greenbrier Valley, West Virginia, www.mountaintrail.com. So... Of course, I got that for him. Here is everything else. <laughs> so bear with me as I dig and rattle. Because that's what it, what it would be. Oh, Lord. Sometimes you got to be Shiva. I'm hoping to get lucky. They were doing their Christmas in July, so I didn't even know they had one. But okay. So I found this really neat little green recipe box, and I'm not sure if I'll use it as a recipe box or if I'll do something else with it, but it was 25 cents. Figured, you know, for 25 cents, I can make do. I found this, and at first I wasn't quite sure what it was. And it says on the top over here, Craft Mates for All the Little Things. Now, as you can see, there's buttons, and yeah, it all works. And when you open it up, folks, this is what I fell for. There's a plasticish pocket here. And then look at all those little containers. All of those little ones came in this thing. And then it just closes back over and snaps shut. And this was a quarter. So, yeah. Todd, you can't be pushing them left and on that. Stay back. I'm doing a video. Okay. Then I found myself a little purse because I don't like the big ones anymore. They're too heavy for me to carry. So usually if I'm out roaming about, I try to have something smaller like this. I can just put it around my neck. And Okay, honey, I love you. Um, that was the boss leaving. He's got to go do some errands. Uh, but anyway, there's like a little Velcro place here. You can put ID and couple little um, cards if you need to. And then it opens up a little bigger here. There's a big pocket. There's a mirror. There's a zipper pocket here, which is for like cards and your dollar bills and stuff like that. And then on the back, there's a place here. It's, a, it's like a little pocket. Sorry. It was a pocket as well. And I think this was like a dollar, so it's like, you know, and, and the um, handle, well, my brain stops, uh, is in good condition. There's no rips, no tears. There's a big open place here that you can put stuff. Hang on, I'll show that in a minute. And it snaps closed here. And I thought, you know what, because I don't, like I said, I don't carry big purses anymore. I just don't. I can't. They kill me. So, you know what, for a dollar... Yeah. So, that's that. The next thing I got, and these are not going to stay what they are right now, i tell you that now, was 25 cents, and it's called Hair Ornaments. And yes, I know they're for Christmas, but I have other ideas for those. Then, the next two items. These are not going to, well, this one isn't going to stay what it is. Right now, it's a pen. This was 50 cents. I thought it was just too darn cute, but I'm going to take the pen off of it and use it for something else. Leave that there for a minute. And then the next thing I got was like a little Rubbermaid container with a lid. It was also 25 cents. Uh, let me pop that open and put that back in there. I cheapy shopped, which is how come the bag was so big, because I really didn't buy anything all that expensive today. Okay, then the next thing I got was... Is there two? Yeah, two stamps. One, mm, let me see if I can turn this guy. Because these are, the one is a super tiny little stamp. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you the front. Let me get in there nice and close. You can see the one says Be Mine, and the other one here is a Hershey's Kiss. These were 25 cents for the two. Yes. Love you, too. Well, that's not... No, we didn't do that. that this was something else. Hang on. Well, hang on. Let me do the video, and then we'll talk. Um, these were 50 cents. These are called Christmas Snow Bunnies. But I thought about loaded bags with these. They were so darn cute. Look at that. Isn't that just the most beautiful thing? They are just too pretty. So for 50 cents, I wasn't leaving them there. I was bringing them home. The next thing I got, and yes, we are Star Wars nuts here. I cannot say it enough, but it is the truth. Anyway, the next thing I got is, I guess, kind of like a lunchbox. Of course, that's not what it's going to get used for, but look, guys. Star Wars! Yes! So, we are nuts about Star Wars. The next bag of stuff I got here, I'm going to actually open to show you. It was a, The whole bag is a dollar, which for me, I didn't think that was quite, you know, a bad price considering. Let me lay that there. Um, this says, Meet Me Under the Mistletoe, and it is a light-up badge. See? And I may leave it a badge, or I may not. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Because that was not... Oh, let me see if I can turn that off, because I don't want to... Yes, okay. Somebody wants to come say hi, so we're going to let her. Come on in and say hi, hi, my helper. That's my helper girl. That's my baby girl. All right, the next few things in this bag that were a dollar. Let me put this back in there so I know what was what. This will probably get taken off the pen because I think that it's beautiful and I want to use it another way. So there's that little bear one. And this one's too cute. This one, I don't know. I, I haven't decided whether I'm going to do something with him or just leave him as is. It's another little bear. And, uh, yeah, I think I went on a bear streak because here's another little bear in a stocking. It's also a pen. And then, hang on. Last but not least, there's Santa Face. And I probably will take him off his pen, off this, and then just use him a different way. But anyway, that bag was a dollar, and I didn't think that was bad considering what I was getting in it. So... Okay... Let's just see here about the next things. Okay, the next bunch of bags were all a quarter apiece. And again, I was thinking loaded bags, not gift bags. So the next one whoop, is definitely a more like wintery one. So winter Christmas. So there you go. There's that guy. And then there's this one. And this one for a quarter, I was not passing up. I don't care. I thought that was beautiful. And then these are little ones, but I thought, hey, you can do mini loaded bags as well. And there was a whole big stack of these that was there together. So there's the mittens. Now, mind you, these were 25 cents each, though. There's the swirl. There's snowflakes, candy cane stripe, and candy cane. And I really wasn't going to complain because, I mean, hey, or else you're going to get them that cheap. They're not. So... Magazines, and I thought, you know, last how much they are. Well, they were free. So one of the ones I picked up is called Quick Quilts. <coughs> Looks like this. And this was a freebie. And the other one I picked up was Paper Cuts. And this is a scrapbooking magazine. And it was also free. So I picked it up. So, I, know, I never pass up magazines like that when you can get them. The next, what? Throw away. The next thing I got was, let me see how much this was because I don't remember. Okay, this was a dollar. And there's four little skeins in here of the fun fur. There's like a red, gold, blue, rainbowy kind of color. There's like a silver blue right there. And then there's like a cream and a white. So. What? Well, you're going to have to just deal with that for now. Okay. The next thing I got things. Things I got were these little tins. They were 25 cents. And there's one, two, three, four, 
There's six of them here. And it says they're little jello tins, but that's not what I plan to use them for. So, and for 25 cents, you can't beat that. Sorry, my allergies are killing me. And then I got two more stamps, which actually turned into three more stamps um, for 25 cents. The first one says, Happy Birthday. And I am not sure what the other two say, honest to goodness, I don't know. I will have to stamp them out and see. Because they literally did like a back-to-back -back stamp. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. And the final bag... <clears throat> cause I have no idea what all is in here, guys, so we're going to explore together. But this was... I lost the price tag. Uh, okay, this was $1.50. There it is. This bag was $1.50. So we're going to open it up and see what's in it. Because I don't even know. I just noticed there was neat stuff in the one part that I could see, and I thought, okay, well, for $1.50, you know what? Shut up and get it. That's what I did. Oh, boy. This could be a twisty tangle. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. Oh, my. Okay, how do I get that untwisted? There we go. All right, so the first thing that's in here, and I will probably use that because I like it, is this plastic canvas done tree. And that's very pretty, actually. So, yes, probably use that just like that. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, oh, not there. That, that, that one just went down. Ooh. Okay, the next one is done a swan. And this is cross stitch. And I cannot do cross stitch, guys, at all. And it says, Merry Christmas. We may keep that and use that as well. Okay, we're going to throw that away because I don't know. Ooh. Wow, okay. Why is it like that? Can I, oh, that's because somebody had that stuck you on a wall. Okay. So, this one is a magnet done in cross stitch, and it's the same kind of swan, and it's got a wreath around its neck. So, we may just go ahead and put that up. Yes, we might. So, that's neat. And then the next one is also a Christmas, I guess they're goose, actually. Christmas goose. And this is honk, honk, honk. And it's cross stitch as well, and it looks like this. I'm going to have to find a way to take the sticky goopy off of that, because I don't like that. Uh, lay that one down there, maybe. Okay. What is this? Can I get it out of there with that turn I don't see it's not turn yet. Well, that's cute. Oh, wow. This is also out of plastic canvas and felt. Fishing line. It's a plastic canvas wreath. That's kind of pretty, actually. Alright. Okay, I don't know what that is, so we're gonna wait for it to come out there. Oh boy. I may have gotten a lot of whole sentence here. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll hold on. Oops, Daisy. Come on over there. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, gotta get rid of that. The next thing is a beaded wreath in the bag that I was able to get loose. Oh, let me get my fingers out the way and just show you. There you go. Really pretty. They weren't kidding when they said Christmas in July. Oh, here's another uh, magnet one, or you can use it as a hanging one. Christmas goose, duck, swan, whatever, with wreath. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. like trying to make sure the stuff doesn't fall. Oh, well, that's neat. Never saw one of those. This is like a little quilt ball. Different little quilt pieces and stuff. That's really cute. I like that. Oh, my goodness. So much stuff. Ooh, here's a quilted ornament. Oh, wow. I'm not going to guess. I think this is supposed to be a snowflake. Really pretty. I like these. These are kind of old-fashioned ornaments and stuff, and I like that. Here's another magnet, and I'm thinking maybe that's a sheep or a lamb. But it is a magnet. They put a magnet on it.
Okay, here's a... Oh boy, how did that happen? Okay. Not from the mouth. Okay, I guess this is supposed to be like this because it hangs sideways, or you can use it as a magnet either one. Another piece of plastic canvas, and they finished the back with felt. Boy, I got rich in plastic canvas, which is alright with me because I like it. Okay, oh my goodness, yikes, what a tangle. Okay, oh, I didn't even see that in there. Oh, that's pretty. 1986, oh my goodness, I think that's the year my niece was born. Uh, look how beautiful, you guys, it's crystal. And the year on it says 1986. And then... There's this beautiful beaded, if I can get the, whoops, okay, beautiful beaded candy cane, really pretty, really pretty. I'm still digging, folks, so bear with me. Here's another one of the floater balls. Oh, that's cute, a crocheted boot. That is adorable. My mom used to make stuff like that. Oh my goodness, I don't even know where to go. Or what to grab next. Oh my goodness, yes, those are keeping. Oh my goodness, okay, I know what this spells. This is Noel, done in cross stitch, I'm guessing. Because that's the only thing I know that looks like that. And it's, I think, it's supposed to be like a banner. Oh no, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's just singles. Okay, that we're just kind of together. But anyway, it does spell Noel. That's really beautiful. Oh, that is definitely going to stay. I will find a way to connect those with some ribbon and... Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. Love that. Well, here's another magnet. And this is one of our duck geese swans. And it's got a big red bow. And again, plastic canvas. This one is not so finished on the back, so now you can see why I finished mine there when I sent them out, because that's what you see otherwise. Not very pretty. <laughs> Good work. Not pretty. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we've got on there. Oh, here's another one that says Noel, and this one they finished on the back. And it's a hanger. Really beautiful. Wow, I don't know why... Wow, I don't know how somebody would get rid of this. To me, this is a big treasure. I don't know why I'd get rid of it. That seems kind of silly. Okay, let's see what we got here, because I see magnets, so I'm not sure how this exactly is going to go, guys. I know what this one spells again. Ah, okay, so you can mag this one's magnetized. Ooh, jeez. Or there's enough ribbon you can probably hang it, but it does say... If they quit spinning on me, it does say Noel. And it is plastic canvas. These, the backs, are not finished, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. So much. Okay, let's see what we got here next. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so they took a felt ribbon and they did the letters Joy and attached them. And yes, they are finished on the back because they haven't felt. And there's a little jingle bell at the bottom. That is really cute. Really cute. I don't know why people would get rid of this, though. That still kind of baffles me a bit. Oh my goodness gracious. So much. They're in this little bag. Oh, these are adorable. Okay, I know what's happening with those. Yeah. Alright. So, there's some little stockings. That one's my favorite. <laughs> that is so cute, though. That is really cute. Okay, let's see. What else we got in here? Oh, my goodness, a lot. 
Ooh, another cross stitch. Oh, that's pretty. And this has the goop. Ugh, I hate the goop. It says, tis the season and has a mama and some babies. Really pretty. I love that. And I can't cross stitch. All these cross stitches? Yeah. I just, I never could cross stitch. It's the one craft my mother could do that I myself could not. Okay, I like something to step in me. Sorry about that. Ooh, this is pretty. This is a wooden, like, um, rocking horse. Really pretty. Both sides are painted. So that's really pretty. Okay. Oh my goodness, I am still not done. Oh. Okay, this looks like it might have gotten slightly mangled. So let me see if I can at least help it a minute. Alright, well, it's not quite as good as it probably was, but it's a wreath made with beads and a pipe cleaner and some lace. Ribbon. Really pretty. Still be used. My goodness. Oh my. Am I ever going to make it to the bottom? Oh, this is cute. That's really cute. It's a crocheted wreath with little berries and stuff. Really pretty. That's really pretty. Wow. There's just a little bit of everything in here, I think. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, so here's the other magnet to go with the first magnet. I showed you that had the red ribbon. This one has green. Isn't that neat? And they finished the back. That's cool. Well, I'll have plenty of Christmas magnets this year. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me get this apart so we can see here. We had a green ribbon laying goose. We have a red ribbon laying goose, and this one also has magnets or a hanging cord, either one. Oh, man, my allergies are back here today. Okay, now let me see if I can get these loose, because... I don't want to rip them or just throw them in any way. Okay. There's the first one. It's another crocheted wreath with the berries. Really beautiful. I think I see some Christmas stuff coming up. Yes, I do. And then we're going to get this hook out of here because this hook is awful. All right. There we go. That's a bit better now. Thank you. That helps. That helps if you turn it the right way, probably. Okay, here's another really... Whoa. Pretty wreath made with the berries, and I think this one is actually made with wire and then the lace. Or not berries, beads. I don't know what I was thinking, berries. It's supposed to be berries as well. Okay, so there's that. Let's see something here. Oop. Do I see something here? Yes. Okay. Another beaded candy cane. Mm. Well, definitely running out of places to put things. <gasps> Ooh, how pretty. And they magneted it. Okay. It's another Christmas magnet. It's the goose with the um, wreath. Oh, pretty. Oh, here's one still in the package. Oh, my. Oh, my. It's a holiday stained glass church decoration. And let me see if I can actually try to do this one some justice here. Look how absolutely beautiful that is. Isn't that just gorgeous? Okay, let's get, that's not going to stay there. So, uh, well, I'm running out of room. We're going to put that up there for a minute. And tilt you this way a minute. And we're gonna try to lay you here nicely. Yes. Okay. And people, I'm, I'm still digging. I'm not kidding. I'm not faking it. Another one of the close balls. That's three. Put you there. I'm trying to, what is this? Let me see what this is. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. This one is plastic canvas and an embroidery hoop. Wow, is it? Oh, wow. That, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look. Oh. Yeah, we have got to find a better way to wrap that and take care of that. Wow. Beautiful. 
beautiful. I don't understand why people get rid of it, but okay. Keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think this is supposed to be a crocheted wreath. Kind of like that. I'm not real sure. But I think that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, I'm thinking so, because there's another one here. And another one over here. That's three. I think that's it. Maybe. Don't quote me. Ooh, another cross stitch one. Yes. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I gotta find a place to hang that. That's definitely Christmassy. Welcome, friends. And look at the cute material on the back. I love that. Beautiful. Wow. Somebody definitely knew how to cross stitch or, or something, because that's just gorgeous. Another beaded wreath. Really pretty. Oh, that's cute. They took, um, like, oh, what is it, satin, and stuffed it, put a couple lines on it to make like look like a little boot, and put a little magnet on it. That's adorable. Okay, here's what I was trying to get done into, and I am not sure where this would even be from. Oh, yes I am, it just sets it on the bottom, it's from Japan. Alright, well we got our first Japan ornament, people. Isn't that pretty? She's a really, it's plastic, but she's so cute. That is really cute. Wow, I like that. She's adorable. Let me see if I can get a couple here. Uh-oh, we got another double of the uh, swan with the wreath around its neck. It's plastic canvas, and we also have another little get that out of there. Another little crocheted wreath with the berries. So that's cute. I'm thankful for that. Yes, I'm thankful for all of it. This is really pretty. Wow, I'm amazed. I'm not sure why people would get rid of stuff like this, but okay. I guess if that's what you're gonna do. Ooh, that's different. Another beaded wreath. Really pretty. Oh my goodness. And I'm still digging, folks, so bear with me. Oh my goodness. Another beaded wreath. Really beautiful. And another beaded wreath. Again, really pretty. Wow. Ouch. Okay, I know how they made that one. Uh -huh. And this is stuck in it. Yuck. Ew. Okay. Now we get out of there. Okay, candy cane made out of beads. And, um, like a tinsel, what do they call them? Chanel stem. And some lace, really pretty. Oh my goodness. Ooh, another beaded one. Okay, that one needs a little bit of help there. Okay, there you go. Oops, then it helps when you hold it up right. Oh my goodness, I'm still digging. Uh, another wooden one uh, that they turned into a magnet. Really beautiful, though, look. That one's gorgeous. Really pretty. Boy, somebody just got rid of a bunch of stuff for like, I don't know why. Okay. Another beautiful beaded wreath. Oh, this is cute. They're tiny, tiny, and I mean, man, they must have really worked on this. Oh, shoot, Rory, come grab that from me. While she's grabbing that, let me see if I can find something else to show you. Oh, I did gay. Okay, so this one says Noel, and they turned it into a magnet, and it's cross-stitch. I only dropped the one, thank you, honey. And then here's that little tree that I just dropped. It was plastic canvas, and it's a magnet as well. I'm trying to keep the magnets away from the computer, so we don't have any catastrophes. Although I'm running out of space here to put the magnets. So, okay, we're going to have to go up there. <laughs> All right. Wow, I think we're finally getting down there. Oh, this is so adorable. I like this. Oh, this is so cute. Look. That is definitely a homemade, because those are pom-poms. That is the cutest little thing. I wondered what he was when I was looking at him. I'm not sure what this is. Bear with me, folks. Oh, okay. I know what this is. Oh, my goodness. I hadn't seen one of these forever. It's a mouse, but up here you put in a candy cane. That's why there's a little catch there. 
and it's a little treat with a treat. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen one of those in forever. Ooh, a second really beautiful plastic canvas wreath finished on the back. Wow. I hear stuff clinging around, and I'm almost afraid it's going to break. I don't know what it is. Oh, now this is adorable. They put that goopy crud on it, though. This is another cross-stitch one. Look how pretty. Isn't that the cutest? I hate that goopy stuff they put on it, though. Oh, I hate that. Okay. I'm not sure what animal this is. I know it's an animal and I know it's a magnet. If y'all know what it is, I don't know what that is. Let me see magnets, magnets, magnets. Okay, over there. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I know somebody who's going to take this as soon as I tell her it's here. Look at this. I know somebody who's going to take that. My daughter's going to want that. Oh, my. Yeah, we will have to give that to her. That, that will have to be hers. Oh, 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 how cute. Oh, how adorably cute. It's not just so cute. Some people are just really creative. Oh, another plastic canvas woozy. Somebody like boozes. Okay, what in the world is playing out of here? Oh, okay. Never seen one like that, but alrighty. It's really pretty. It's not glass, it's plastic, but I'm not, I'm not sure how they made that. It's really pretty. Okay, so there's one, so oh, no, it's still climbing down in here. Okay, here's another one. Oh, that is pretty. Wow. Mm, really pretty. I'll have to wrap those when I put them away. Oh, a crocheted wreath that they turned into a magnet. There was a hook in it. And I don't keep anybody's hooks except the ones we get, so. But they turned it into a magnet. Really cute. I like him. <laughs> a plastic canvas snowman magnet. <laughs> oh boy. We're going to have magnets this year. Oh my. What is all this? Okay. Um, Alright, so another beaded candy cane for the tree. Really cute. Oh my. And another beaded candy cane for the tree. <laughs> I like candy canes. And another beaded candy cane for the tree. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. And another one. <laughs> I'm going to put all these candy canes. Okay. What is this one? Ooh. Okay. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I love the, the like, toy soldiers and stuff like that. This one is dated 1986. Yeah, I need to get a hold of my niece and see here. Because I think that that was the year she was born, if I'm not mistaken. And if it is, wow. Okay, well, this is all twisted. Oh, yikes. Please tell me I can untwist you. Okay. Well, this is beautiful. Oh, yes, it is. All right, so this, they made the word peace in plastic canvas in a piece of holly. And at the bottom, there's a jingle bell. Isn't that beautiful, though? Really beautiful. Oh, wow. I can see my other half going, just what we needed, more Christmas stuff. <laughs> the poor man. Another, whoop, 
don't know what that is, okay. Another crocheted wreath with the berries. Really cute. Oh my. This is going to be a big old video, and I'm sorry about that, guys. I didn't think there was this much in this bag. I really didn't when I bought it. Oops, there you in there. Ooh, a plastic canvas one. And they didn't put anything on it, so it leaves me to put the hanger or whatever I want to use it for. Look. Really beautiful. And then this one, oh my goodness, this is going nowhere, except on my tree, or in my craft room, depending. Look how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, yeah. I can't believe the wealth I got in this one little bag. And they only had a dollar fifty. Okay, now this I will find somebody to give it to. Who? Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to try to guess who that might be. Um, I'm just not. But it's really pretty nonetheless. And it feels ceramic. And then, somehow I'm thinking these went together somehow. Because it's a plastic... Um, candy cane. And then there were these little plastic poinsettias here. I'm thinking somehow maybe the candy cane went like this and the poinsettias like that. Anyway, I will figure it out when I get that far. But that, folks, is the end of my bag. Thank goodness. Wow. That's a long video. Uh, thank you if you stuck around. I appreciate it. Hope y'all enjoyed the haul. I know we enjoyed hauling it. And if you get a chance to enjoy your day, because it's really super warm here, get out and get a little bit of sun, but be careful, don't get too much. If you can, pay it forward. And always be nice. You don't know what's going on with people. You just don't. So be nice, yes, definitely. And I would say Merry Christmas, but I guess I have to say Merry Christmas in July. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Until next time, bye-bye.